Wait for some people to get in this motherfucker. <coughs> What up, Skin? What's up, Pimpin? There we are. Hey, you can. Okay, thank you. What's up? About to get in here and say what the fuck I need to say. I'm waiting for people to get in here real quick. What up? Doing warehouse stuff, baby. Dude, she's a fucking freak. Leave me the fuck alone. He looked mad. Church. Why, dude, why you keep talking about this? Motherfucker, because I have to. Are you fucking blind? What the fuck? The bitch is fucking suing me again. She already fucking lost, dude. I mean, dude, how is this even fucking legal, fam? You can't just fucking take a goddamn person to fucking court whenever you want because of what? Because of fucking some made up fucking frugal McDougal shit in her head. Bro, why hasn't her country, like, I don't know, come and picked her up for being a goddamn menace to society? What the fuck? How the fuck does shit work in Canada? And you know what? Some people on here might not understand it. Well, guess what, motherfucker? You don't have to fucking understand it. When you work your entire life and your entire life you're working towards something and you actually build something fucking amazing and you do it from the ground up and you do it legally the right way and, and you do everything organic and you become something, you really think I'm going to sit here and let somebody just fuck it up and not say nothing? You're smoking crack if you think I'm not going to say something. You're smoking fucking crack if you think I ain't gonna say something. And everybody's like, well, if you were smart, counter sue. If you were smart, counter sue. She ain't got no fucking money, dummy. How can she have fucking money? She has done lost a goddamn court case to four different famous rich men. What the fuck do you not understand about that? She cannot pay anyone back, dude. She's fucking broke. What job does she have? She doesn't have a fucking job. She has this fucking imaginary shit in her brain that isn't real. She's been saying for 15 fucking years that she's a goddamn comedian. Will you please pull up a clip of her being a fucking comedian anywhere of stature? There isn't one. Cause she's not a fucking comedian. Type in comedian. There's real comedians making fun of her because she's not a real comedian. The bitch literally said, I I'm a stand-up comedian because I stood up in front of a camera. That's not a stand-up comedian, home dog. That, that, that's, not, that's, not a, that's not a comedian. That's in fantasy land. She did something called the Peggy Sue Festival or some shit like 20 goddamn years ago. And uh, you have to pay to do that. It's, it's, it's how you get your start. That's the only thing that's out there. So you mean to tell me now, now everything I said in that fucking video has happened today already. Fucking headlines from hip hop reporter, whatever the fuck that is. Never even heard of that in my goddamn life. Saying that Nicole Arbor is, is the mastermind behind all these country rap bangers? 
What fucking planet do you live on? The bitch is from Canada. She's from the city part of Canada. You try to say, oh, well, I, I wrote Back Road Lovers for us. It's called Back Road Runners. It was never called Back Road Lovers, you goddamn idiot. And even if that was the title, I'd have to be the worst fucking songwriter in the world because the song is about being a 17-year-old boy, you fucking idiot. My slang ain't that fucking thick. I know you dumbasses from goddamn near Canada, but I I'm, I'm sure you know, you can listen to it and tell it's about, uh, oh my God. And the thing is, listen, bro, she already lost the first time. These goddamn stupid motherfuckers who are trying to ruin my shit, what do they post? Fucking memes. What do they post? They post some shit they probably paid a hundred bucks for some bullshit thing that looks like the news when really it's not the hip hop reporter. And, 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 you, and what? You put false statements on there. You, bro, the one, one of the news things says that I have an active, uh, 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 rest, she has an active restraining order against me. That is false. What you're posting is not a fact. The goddamn court document from, you know, the federal fucking document that I have, that is real. The goddamn meme from the hip-hop reporter you have is not fucking real. Your goddamn Hollywood shit is not gonna work down south. We're not fucking retarded. What do you think this is, you fucking dumb bitch? You're not a musician. You, you don't do shows. You're trying to say, not one, one, you're trying to say you wrote some music for me. You fucking suck at writing music. You're fucking horrible. Look at the two things you came out with. Those are the dumbest fucking lyrics I've ever heard come out of someone's shitty sounding mouth in like forever. I know people that are fucking complete ass that sound better than that. And you think you wrote some shit that I wrote? Motherfucker, I don't give a fuck. I'm Ryan motherfucking Upchurch, bro. I'm one of the biggest fucking independent artists in the fucking world. What the fuck do you, what do I need your dumb fucking bimbo ass to write? You can't write the kind of shit I write. You don't have a good enough brain to write the shit I write. You're too goddamn stupid. Not only that, when the fuck have you had a music career, you dumb hoe? You're trying to say you went on tour with me? To do what? Sweep motherfucking bathrooms? You have no music to fucking perform, dingbat. Go look on fucking iTunes. You have two songs, two shitty fucking songs that just came out. But, but you trying to say last motherfucking year, well, he was going to take me on to, to what? To breathe heavy? I'm going to take, take you to a show to breathe heavy? <laughs> what are you going to do? There would be nothing for you to do. And if that was the marketing plan for me taking you on tour, well, goddamn, that's a lot different than what we done with Chase Matthews not hitting it. Yeah, Chase already has fucking gold records, you bimbo. You are not qualified to do anything you've ever said that you're qualified to do. Half the shit you say you have credit for doing, there is zero evidence of you having credibility of doing the things you think you want to do or you think you do. You are, something is wrong with you. It has to be. It has to be. It does not take a genius to figure out that Nicole Arbor is a habitual liar, bro. When there's judges saying, hey, you're not credible at all, and that being in, feder in documents, bro, it does not get any more clear than that. What are you mad about? Are you mad because you came to court looking like you had a fucking a kangaroo pouch with your skinny, ugly ass fucking legs walking through there being the fat motherfucker who made fun of fat people five years ago and that's why you're famous? Look, everyone, the dear fat people person's in here looking fat as fuck. Is that why you're mad? Because you walked into court looking like a fucking wampus cat? Is that why? 
stressed the fuck out. Probably I'd be stressed out if I just lost a court case against four fucking dudes that I tried to say all this bad shit on. You know, it's funny. There's no one else to say bad shit on any of these dudes except for you, ho. And the fact that this is, and the fact that she's taking me back to the same fucking court where she just lost terribly and, and two of her fucking legal teams dropped her because she is a fucking psycho in my opinion. Why else would they drop you? Only, they're only going to drop you if you're not going to make them no money. They're only going to drop you if there's uh, absolutely no evidence. They're only going to drop you if they think you're lying. Bitch, you got dropped by two fucking legal teams. You're that much of a fucking liar. And whoever's her legal team this time, you a goddamn idiot. Because you didn't Google shit, did you? Well, have fun losing a bunch of fucking money. Because guess what? She still ain't started paying me from the first time she lost. I doubt she's paying any goddamn body else. She has no money, guys. She has no job. How she's getting money to do this stuff, I don't fucking know. Maybe she's still making money off dear fat people. But for all y'all saying, well, you should do this, I've, I've done it. Okay? When you, you can't counter sue, why in the fuck you can't counter sue somebody who has no money? Why would you go to court? They have zero money. This woman, dude, she makes y'all think that she, uh, not y'all, but the fucking weird motherfuckers on her page, they're like, oh, I love you, I fucking love they, they all look like they ain't fucking seen sunlight in goddamn 30 years. Half of them's probably her just having these weird alter egos making fucking other Instagram posts or whatever, making fake shit. But what I'm getting at is it, this is not, this, this ain't gonna keep going on. I'm not gonna fucking let it keep going on. And everybody telling me to counter sue, there ain't no point. The bitch is broke. She don't have a license. She don't have a car. She don't have a house. Her, her, hell, her, her parents are, are fucking uh, are, are regular people. Her parents are fucking, you know, middle class people like, like everybody else. She don't even go there no more, fam. I wonder why. Probably because her parents don't give her fucking money anymore because they can't. Who the fuck wants to be an old man and an old woman, like 60 years old, fucking... <laughs> giving money to your wannabe American daughter who is still running around acting like she's a 17-year-old fucking famous person. When in fact, she's nowhere near 17 and she's nowhere near famous. She's infamous for trying to fuck people's life over. And dude, and the fact that the news ran with this and fucking pretty much compared me to murderers, bro, and talked about beating women and talked about the statistics of men killing women defaming me, fucking shitting on my gold record and ruining my fucking reputation, you motherfuckers are gonna pay for that in goddamn court. I have more money than you, bitch. I will spend millions of dollars until somebody pays for fucking what has been going on. And I'm telling you right now, I'm fucking writing down and screenshotting every single fucking news channel that says something that is false. Because guess what? That falls under, what is that fucking law be? Defamation, motherfuckers, defamation. And listen, I'm willing to put a halt on everything and spend millions and millions and millions and fucking millions of dollars to see this kind of shit stop happening. You, you can't live your whole life as a good person not doing bad shit to people and doing what you're supposed to and helping your community, and helping others, and caring about others, and actually winning for some fucking talentless fucking bimbo who's gonna die probably of old age, never accomplishing anything in her motherfucking life, ruin what somebody built that built it the right way. You ain't fucking taking away what I built. You ain't fucking making people think I'm something I'm not. I will spend, if, if money's the game, I got more money than you and I'll spend more money than you. I'll spend every fucking ounce of money I got. I'll sell every fucking property I got, which is a fuck ton. I'll sell every car I got, which is a fuck ton. I will sell everything to see one of these motherfuckers. By the way, there's two of them. They're both in the same music video together, suing me for music stuff. Yeah conspiracy, two people, you know, plotting something against someone to sue them or whatever the case is. Good luck fucking proving in court, you dumb fucks. Pro Good luck proving in court that you two motherfuckers ain't never talked to each other because you're not going to be able to, dumbass. 
You're in a music video with each other in 4K. Did one of you magically teleport there? Is that what happened? I don't fucking think so. And guess what? You go to fucking prison for, uh, for conspiracy, buddy. So I hope you dumb fucking bitches, the boy and girl, both you dumb fucking bitches like the color orange because guess what? You done opened a can of fucking whoop ass, fam. I'm going to pay whatever I got to for you to be held accountable and go to fucking jail. Either you're going to give me a fuck ton of money and you're going to pay back all the damages you fucking done that can't be undone or your bitch ass is going to goddamn prison. Which one do you want? Well, you don't get to choose. I get to fucking choose, bitches. I ain't letting none of these motherfuckers run me over and ruin everything I built. Not gonna fucking happen. Hey, Travis, you're a fucking big fat fucking pussy and you're not good at shit. You're weak as fuck and you need to change your goddamn clothes and stop wearing the same thing every day, you smelly bitch. Nicole, you're not good at fucking anything. You made fun of fat people a long time ago and now you're oddly shaped. You look like a Russian nesting doll, you fat bitch. How you like that? Yeah, you fat, ugly bitch. You gotta pretty much spray paint your face every goddamn morning because you're so fucking ugly. How's that for making fun of fat people, motherfucker? And that's coming from a motherfucking fat person. Yeah. You wanna call people fat and shit, bitch? Well, guess what? You done lost once in court to a fat person. You're gonna lose again to a fat person. And guess what? You're a fat person now. See how life turns out? You fucking, ooh, you stupid motherfucking parasite. I wish you'd go back to your fucking country. And I don't say that about anybody ever. But you, I wish you'd go back to your goddamn country. But you know what? Your country probably don't even want you. I wouldn't fucking want you. Hell, I didn't want you. And I'm still sitting here with you, dumbass. Didn't even fucking have sex with you, you crazy fuck. What is wrong with you? And the thing is, is like, dude, she lied about some goofy fucking shit in court. Like, she claimed it, like, like this, is, this is the issue, bro. She told the court, like, uh, like you, are, you guys already know she fucking told the court that I was, like, a gang member and, like, killed people and, like, had this fucking weird underground room where I fucking kill and torture people. Don't ask me where she got that. I have no fucking idea. I don't have a brain that fucked up, so I don't say shit like that about people. So, but anyway, uh... When we're in court, she claims, she claimed that I set her up. Okay, fam, if you're from Nashville, you're going to laugh your ass off. She claims that in Nashville, she got set up by me with paparazzi, right? With, with, with my wallet. There is text messages of me and my security trying to get the wallet and she refuses to give up the wallet. I sent professional, uh, certified, high-end security over there to nicely get the wallet from the, for, for me, since they work for me. And there's text messages where she literally says she's not giving them the wallet. I have to go get it. Do you see how that's a goddamn trap? You, you, can't, you can't trust that. If you have a crazy person who's faking being fucking roofied and you take them to the goddamn hospital and the doctor says, you're in fact not roofied, this is weird. And then the next day, I, I, my wallet is over there because I dipsetted the fuck out of there because your creepy ass was trying to fucking Mars attacks me and be like, ah, ah, you're staying here. No, the fuck I'm not. I don't fucking know you. So... When I send security detail to get it and you still don't give it back and you claim there was paparazzi and stuff, you dumb bitch. The fucking Metro police had their body cams on, you dumb fuck. You have cops saying that... that, that they want, what you're saying is fictional. It doesn't exist. It does not exist. You were crying in court with fake tears. All this Amber Heard shit going on and you being who you are shows me predicting what you're going to do. And I predicted you right today, today, with, with, with barely even fucking knowing your stupid, goofy ass. You mean to tell me that I predicted what you were going to do today and you're actively doing exactly what I predicted? And you think you're smart? 
You're not smart. You're like the dumbest bitch I've ever met in my entire life. Ever. The fact that you even think you went on tour, like what in the fuck are you? You went to a ghetto hood bar with us to, so I could do two dive bar shows for fun. And you stood on the side and just stood there and you think you went on tour? Well, goddamn, I bought a fucking Hot Wheel the other day there was a spaceship. It doesn't mean that I own a goddamn, a real spaceship. It means I own a, just a tiny Hot Wheel. <laughs> Not only that, but even before that, dude, the day before that, when, uh, when I was driving her around Nashville like a gentleman because you don't want a fucking woman running around fucking like Nashville, especially one that's fucking dumb as fuck like her, Running around Nashville all hours of the night by herself. I mean, what the fuck? Like, so I took her to, uh, we went to Cahoots with Cliffy that night. And I'm walking through a crowd. And she fucking, I come back up in the DJ booth. She's like, uh, I seen you kiss that other girl. We're going to talk about that later. Do you realize how bad my brain shit itself when I got this person standing in front of me telling me that I just kissed my, my friend Shelby? On, on the lips, I mean, I even texted Shelby. I was like, dude, she said that we kissed when we were just sitting there talking. She's like, what the fuck? And, and bro, th this is, Shelby is a very, very nice woman. She's a very nice woman. She's got her shit together. Me and her used to date a while back. You know, she's sweet as can be. I'll do anything for her. Always, always can, always will. And it just, it makes no sense that somebody would, it just, that she makes up shit like whenever she wants to. It's fact at that moment. And, and even, uh, even other people that were there were like, bro, she's acting fucking hella off. No shit, dude. Something is fucking wrong with her. Hello. Hello. And the fact that she's taking me back to court again, bro, trying to say that she wrote some music for me and went on tour is fucking bizarre. And the, and the crazy thing is, is, she should not be allowed to keep spouting and going to news outlets saying the most horrible things about someone who has no record, who, who isn't even like that, who isn't even like that. Uh, dude, there are so many fucking, oh my God, there are so many people that I, I have dated. There's people that, there, there's, there's girls that I've, I've hung out with and and fucking hung out with them all night, and we talk about the goddamn universe and, and what they want to do in life and, and what, what they're going to college for and what they aspire to be. This weird fucking Hollywood setting that's in Nashville now is fucking disgusting, and it, it's, it's disturbing. How, how can someone from Canada who's never been here before come to Nashville, okay, come to Nashville, have court cases in Nashville, lie about people who live in Nashville, I mean, goddamn, look at Ben Shapiro and, uh, <clears throat> Ben Shapiro and, uh, God dang it, my fucking mind's going blank, uh, uh, Candace Owens. She just waltz in and fucking just talk, starts and, and talk shit about Candace Owens and says all this fake shit about Candace Owens, somebody who lives in Nashville, says a bunch of fake shit about, uh, you know, the people that was there and, and what happened and, and how it's her fault, she, or it's Candace's fault she had to leave the show. Bro. Candace, once again, posted all the proof where you're a fucking liar. Tommy Vex, post all the proof where you're a fucking liar. Matt Santorno, post all the proof where you're a fucking liar. The fucking CEO of Black Rifle Coffee, posted the uh, proof to show you're a fucking liar. Literally, how can, how can, how can, this is what she wants. Bro, it's only going to land her in fucking prison. So uh, get, fuck it, give it to her. If she wants to go to prison, I mean, fuck it. Let her keep doing what she's doing. The thing is, is how can one single person have so many crazy, bizarre, horrible things happen with five wealthy people in entertainment that don't know each other? You mean to tell me that we're all super duper horrible, bad fucking woman beaten lying people? But we, we all don't know each other. Uh, they all, aside of the issues they have with this woman, Nicole Fatass Arbor, they have no issues. Gee, I wonder what the fucking issue is. 
So when we go back to court this next time, you better, oh my God, you better have, oh, I don't know. I don't know what you could possibly have because you're a fucking liar. I guess you should just be ready to be in a fuck ton of trouble, especially for fucking, you know, you gonna have a you gonna pro I'm filing for a conspiracy between you and the other person in the music video that are both suing me for the same exact thing in music. After today, I'm a different person. I hardly don't trust nobody because of this kind of shit. I hardly can eat anymore because of this kind of shit. I don't have a fucking appetite. I I'm losing. I feel like I'm losing emotion. And I, I'm losing creativity. And it's all for what? It's all for nothing. It's all because there is a crazy female who is obsessed and keeps taking me back to court even though she keeps losing and everyone finds out she's a liar because she's got 50 bucks and she can pay somebody overseas to make a fucking uh, article that she it looks like she probably wrote and put it out there like it's a fact. You can't keep doing that. You, there's no way. There has to be a law against you doing this. There is laws against it. Defamation of character, slander, uh, you're, you're ruining a... Cra I'm, you might want to Google, Nicole, what your goddamn uh, net worth is and what mine is because uh, it looks like you're going to be giving me $50 a week for like the rest of your life. So um, I hope you and the other person are ready to do some goddamn jail time because guess what? If you go, When we go to court... Yo ass ain't just flying back to Canada. You gonna be behind bars in motherfucking America. And I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Fuck both of y'all. Goodbye.